Little Red Wagon is all about putting old, real Florida back into Florida as much as we can. We've scraped and evicted a lot of our native landscapes, or most of our native landscapes out as we have developed the lands. These plants evolved in Florida in the sandy soil, so they're a custom right, still right plant, right place based on the sun requirements or shade requirements, but these plants are used to our soil and that's what they need. So now the goal is to try to put back native plants, which is what our wildlife needs, the butterflies, the bees, our wild bees, and a lot of other wildlife species. So the bottom of the food chain is super important, so feeding the insects works its way all the way up to the top of the food chain, which ultimately are humans. What's really special about butterfly gardening, um, number one, is no chemicals. Chemicals, uh, reducing our chemical load in our environment is critical to our health, our kids' health, pets' health, and our whole entire environment. So really that's what makes butterfly gardening special. No chemicals, no fertilizers. The plants are pretty important where you've got host plants, which are the plants where the butterflies will lay their eggs, the females will lay their eggs, and those plants are the plants that the caterpillars will eat. So you really have to kind of have host plants and nectar plants. And nectar plants are there for the adult butterflies to drink nectar from, essentially. So having both will get a lot more movement in your yard and keep them hanging around a lot more and give them an opportunity you know, to be visiting there. One of the cool things is being able to watch the whole life cycle of metamorphosis, and people really enjoy that. And when you watch a butterfly lay an egg on a plant, the eggs are really small, about the size of a pinhead, and then you can watch that egg, and after about a week or so, that egg will hatch, and a caterpillar is there, and will start munching on your plants. And the caterpillar, of course, growing and growing and growing until they're ready to go into chrysalis. And then a few days later, you know, about a month cycle, you're going to have a butterfly. In Florida, if we're above 50 degrees, you're going to see butterflies. In the Tampa Bay area, Central Florida, we have about 118 to 125 species that are resident, um, flying through and migrating through about 200 species. Seeing the movement in your yard, butterflies are like flying art, and just bringing that movement in brings joy to just about anybody. I can't imagine someone not wanting to see a butterfly flying through the yard. So, and the more, the more host plants and variety that you plant for the different species, the more movement you're going to get. So, it's a lot of fun and it's relaxing to be out in it and uh, learning how to garden and, and bring, bring this to your own landscapes. Little Red Wagon is one of the only native nurseries in Hillsborough County. They have a full team there that can help you find what you need to get started. Summer camp options for kids, too. You'll find more information about them on our website.